This time I'd like to bring up Mike Godwin, who will be introducing our speaker this evening. start driving to school, but uh, we do. That's about the only time that is relatively normal in our house. We do get a chance to uh, get the kids up in the morning, and uh, I make sure we don't start a staff meeting uh, too early so all the coaches can kind of get up, help help mom get the kids uh, out of bed, and get them off to school, and we actually, our family meal is actually breakfast. We have a chance to, uh, you know, have breakfast together, and, and uh, we actually have a little devotional together, which is kind of nice, and, uh, and then we Send them off to school. I used to drive to school now. We send them off to school with John. 
driving. So, uh, so I had to make that little correction there. I don't really think I was lying if they didn't see me driving my kids to school one day. I think I was full of baloney. But uh, anyway, since we're my friends, I I'm going to try something. I'm not real good at this. So you guys got to bear with me. I'm going to attempt a joke. I know you guys are like this. You guys may not understand it, so we'll see how it goes. There's this guy. He's dating this girl named Lorraine. Okay? Her name's Lorraine. And he loved Lorraine until he met a girl named Clearly. Well, he met this girl named Clearly, and he, she caught his eye. And uh, he was thinking he might want to date Clearly. But, uh, you know, he was true to, he was true to Lorraine. He decided he wasn't, he wasn't going to do that. He wasn't going to go there. So he stayed true to Lorraine and uh, forgot about Clearly. Anyway, one day, he was walking down by the river with uh, Lorraine. And unfortunately for Lorraine, she stumbled and fell into the river and washed away. And uh, unfortunately, she died. And uh, so, of course, the first thing he was thinking to himself is, I can see clearly now Lorraine is gone. <laughs> oh, you guys know what I'm talking about. That's an old song. Hey, Coach, I, I like to entertain my guys, too, with stupid jokes. So. <laughs> Here's my, I got my palm pilot. I got, I got my palm pilot. got my notes here. Uh, we'll go on. But anyway, I was actually at an FCA function where the, the pastor told that joke. I was kind of shocked when he told it. But anyway, it was at least got, got everybody uh, got a reaction. Anyway, I don't know if it was funny or not. But anyway, I want to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, we're in spring ball right now. And uh, spring football is a time to find out about your new team. It's a time to uh, find out who your leaders are. And, and to try to get a lot of things accomplished during that time. And uh, we always set goals for spring. We, have, we set spring objectives. And I uh, went over those with the staff and then actually asked every coach to write down what his objectives were for the spring, for their, for their particular position. I asked the offensive coordinator to say what he had in mind for his goals for his unit. I had the special teams coaches write down the very same thing. I collected it all and I read through everybody's notes now I basically got a consensus of the things that they said. And uh, just to kind of paraphrase uh, what they said as our objectives, uh, kind of went as follows. Number one was, was fundamentals. We had to work on fundamentals. Everybody started with, you know, the safety of learning how to block and tackle, you know, to make sure it's, it's safe for our players. And so the fundamentals was, every coach mentioned, we got to get to fundamentals. You know, then the, then the next thing that everybody said is they wanted to develop some leadership. They wanted to uh, find out what kind of leaders they had in their segments and, and, and for offense and defense and for special teams and even for the entire team. Uh, the third thing that uh, we talked about, everybody agreed upon, was uh, to compete. We've got to teach them how to compete because, uh, you, know, you know, the bottom line of football is one team's going to win and one team's going to lose, and we've got to learn how to compete. We've got to learn to compete for our jobs. Those players got to learn to compete for their, for their jobs, and they got to learn to compete against each other. I mean, it, bottom line, it turns into offense uh, versus defense. And um, every day, every drill we do, we got a winner and we got a loser. And we're going to keep score in the spring. If we do a one-on-one -on -one drill, DBs versus receivers, we're going to keep score to see which unit won. If we have a three-on-three -three where we've got a blocking situation going on and, and uh, we got three downs to get 10 yards, you know, we'll, we'll keep track of who won, offense or defense. Uh, we'll have what we call the spider drill. We got that O-line, D-lineman at one level, and linebacker, fullback at the next level, and a DB and a receiver at the next level. And we'll blow the whistle, and everybody starts blocking and trying to get off a block, and that runner tries to get through the gauntlet. And uh, we'll keep track of that. When we do inside drill, when we do a 11-on-11, a 11 11, uh, goal line to finish, to finish the day when we're in pads, you know, we'll keep score of what happens because we want these guys to learn how to compete. We want them to win. We want them to be 